This building is, uh, I don't know, 12, 14 years old or something like that or more. It's out of date, really, but it's still, uh, in terms of taking care of you, keeping you alive, it can produce food, some, it produces water, uh, it produces power, and it stays pretty much this temperature year-round. Uh, we open windows in the front and skylights in the back for cooling a little bit. We've, we've refined that radically now. Uh, we uh, obviously get the heat from the south, and these, this is a tire wall. The shelf is actually the mesa floor, so it's only tires from there up, and the earth shelf uh, is just plastered earth cliff. Uh, all the way around to there, and then that's a full-on tire wall. But this room is like a really good example of just like the early, simple method of doing this. Uh, and we just buried it, put good insulation on it. I'll get into the roof slopes and all of that more with the water tomorrow. Uh, but you can see that this room is designed by uh, the, the phenomena. We need the sun. The sun's from the south. Uh, the sun's not from the north are the east, are the west. Uh, the major heating sun is from the south, so the building opens up to the south, and it's a pocket that stores temperature. And uh, so that's the, that's the early rationale for how these were built, the, the material to build them out of. And it's like always if, uh, when, you, when, you're, when we look at the tire situation, we're killing a lot of birds with one stone. We're getting rid of a product that's a problem and we're providing us a building material that is, like I say, indigenous to the entire planet, and it's low-tech, and people can learn how to do it. And it, when, it, when, it ant when it addresses that many issues, it starts to have uh, extreme validity, let's say. So uh, the, 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 the component that we're doing these with is a mass component that has all these other attributes. Like I said, if... Uh, if I found something better, I would be, I would be using it in a heartbeat, but I haven't. Um, so then we, uh, we bury them, and this building's a good example of that. Well, then we ran into, uh, you know, this is just the structural thermal side of this. Uh, the, the, the power, water, and sewage side of it even gets more complicated in terms of what we ran into. We ran into, uh, like in an extreme situation, a room like this could get down to 60 degrees. And I, I was fine with that. You know, 60 degrees with no fuel whatsoever when it's like 20 below zero Fahrenheit outside. I'm like, that's a success story to me. I actually got sued because there is a, uh, there's a, a regulation, let's call it, in the... Uh, in the codes that says that 41 inches off the floor a, a building has to stay 73 degrees day, night, winter, summer. That's a regulation. That's in the, in the codes. And of course all buildings are set up to do that. That's the way the engineers design the heating systems. And what they don't really, what they haven't faced there is that if the electricity goes off or the gas goes off, that 73 degrees goes away. But as long as the electricity is running and the gas is running, they can maintain that, and engineers design buildings that way. And so I found myself in a whole different realm here. Uh, okay, I can't maintain 73 degrees. I can keep it between 60 and 80 with no fuel. And so I had to go to court, and uh, I tried to explain that to the judge. I said, well, you know, what if, if the power goes off electricity goes off or the gas goes off, that 70 degrees, that 73 degrees is going to drop drastically that, you know, in certain cases, like in Maine a few years ago, the, the line, the ice was on the lines, broke the lines, people were without power and their toilet bowls were freezing. They were gathering together in uh, gymnasiums and armories and things like that uh, with forced heaters, propane heaters just to stay warm. Their houses were worthless, not usable. So I said, well, you know, Your Honor, what if the, uh, if the power goes off and the gas goes off, that 73 degrees is not going to happen. Here, yeah, we have a lower temperature. 60 degrees is a low and 80 degrees is a high, but it's going to be there no matter what. 
judge didn't buy it. Uh, so, yeah, I got fined and everything. So what that caused us to do uh, was, and, you know, that's the kind of, there's so many things like that that have happened. Uh, they, the judge, in that case, this was, I don't know, six or eight or nine, eight or nine years ago maybe, but the judge just wasn't even willing to talk about the possibility of the power flailing or the gas not being available. So we were, you know, we were wrong. We were fined. So anyway, that caused us to take this very simple thing and make it more complex. And it, made it, it did make it cost a little more, but in a way it was a good thing because now we can, we can uh, the corner cottage building, which will be on the tour, I don't know who's staying in it now, but, uh, and it uh, is pretty much new off the line, not even totally, totally finished in terms of landscaping, and it's obsolete. Uh, but, uh, and that's what, you know, that's what happens. I mean, like, uh, it, we're, it, it's evolving really fast, and because we just keep learning more. Uh, we probably, uh, we're using the corner cottage design for the new education facility next door that the governor is paying for. Uh, that's an interesting situation right there, because I went on and got in more and more trouble with these regulations, and uh, they took my license in New Mexico five or six or seven years ago, something like that. And then a year ago, the governor gave me 300 grand to build a building to illustrate this stuff. So it's like, what am I doing wrong here or what am I doing right, whatever. Uh, I call it getting served shit and peanut butter on the same plate. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, and it's always that way. Uh, so, uh, anyway, we, as a result of that, we, the corner cottage, pretty much, if you, op, you know, it's, it, there's a little teeny bit of education in how to run it, but if you run it right, and it's very little to know, uh, corner cottage stays 73 degrees, pretty much. I'd say maybe as low as 70, maybe as high as 75 or something like that. But anyway, it takes that range of temperature that used to be 60 to 80, and brings it real close to the law. And, uh, of course, now a judge would say, a, a judge would agree with me now. They would say, you know, if you can keep this building, you know, within a eight or so degrees of 73 without fuel, then, then that is a success story. But 10 or so years ago, they weren't, they weren't buying that. And so we, uh, but it, what it did is launch us into taking this science, let's call it, a little further. So like the, the early sections then. So I'm, I mean, what I'm getting you to do then is understand why these designs are the way they are. And because, uh, you know, people come here to either build these for a living, to build them for themselves, to share the information, whatever. And it's really important to know why we're doing We're not just doing these because they look cute or whatever. We're doing them because we keep finding more and more ways to fine-tune this encounter with natural phenomena. We're encountering the sun, and we're encountering the thermal mass that's, that's in the earth, <coughs> and the thermal mass concept. So what we have then is a, a section that we used to just have the tires, you know, stacked up, and, uh, and uh, here we have a roof like this and like that, uh, we've evolved out of that due to the, uh, I'll talk more about that in the water situation. This is the angle in this building. This is the angle of the winter sun to bring the winter sun in here. Uh, and even on Corner Cottage, I believe we still have this. Uh, we do this roof slope to let the sun melt snow before it evaporates. But we've evolved out of that. So this was our configuration 10 years ago. Well, the configuration now has evolved. We've gotten a way to melt the water with the sun. So now, see, this makes details and expense. So now the newer designs, which we call the global design, uh, is, uh, yeah, thanks. The newer design is, a, a roof is a, 
is one configuration, one line. It's, that's obviously cheaper. Has a greenhouse here, and this building, see, has a greenhouse, but it has also got a greenhouse here, glass. And uh, so what that means, we're into this thing now we call internal space, because out here it could be minus 30 in this first greenhouse, which you'll see at Corner Cottage and the Phoenix and even in the, the global models now, it could get down to 45 or 50 in here. But this is for plants, not people. But people do hang out. And